Hello cartoon drivers, we have the uh, Charo Q0 of the Renault 5 Turbo, number Z50, so the 50th release from these guys, at least in the Zero line. Uh, they do have a, a racing livery, like the rally one, but uh, it's too expensive, so I just ended up getting this white one. Maybe if I find one at a decent price, I'll get the uh, racing livery. I remember seeing one of these in America, I think it was in Colorado, I saw one of these things, and uh, they're just awesome looking. This is a rear-engined or mid-engined vehicle. They took an economy car, the Renault 5, moved the engine to the back, and then went rally racing with the thing, so it's pretty cool. Definitely a unique piece of automotive history. so small it's hard to hold this thing okay so you can pause and compare to the photos but I mean we're talking about a cartoon car so uh, this thing did come with these mirrors but I'm not gonna put them on because uh, they're no peg holes they're just gonna break off all right let's see what we have here so we do have the wheels here that look similar to those wheels on the real photograph they're just missing a little black paint around the perimeter as well as the black paint here. It would have been nice to have black paint in here. These are definitely black on the real car. Uh, but it does have a black side sill here, but it, it's supposed to cut off by the fender, so that's pretty accurate. And then it does have a black front bumper. It's nice to see that it's got yellow fog lights, these running lights, the turn signals, and then just some paint here for the headlights. The Renault badge is there, a bunch of different textures here. And then the little hood vent here, but again, I'm going to guess those are black on the real car. There's a black stripe, though. It's coming up the A-pillar, wrapping around the roof, and coming back down. So this little wing here is pretty neat. Uh, they did print on some black up here, though, but not for the fuel filler. So that's weird that they just have black here, not here, and not here silver there although looking at the photo it is a black fuel filler so strange decisions going on here by uh, Takara all right some vents back here but again no black all right uh, but then there's a little red here for I'm gonna guess a reflector but no red in these reflectors and then there is silver though on this exhaust tip which is nice Okay, these are probably smoked windows, yep, okay, you can see the pick there. And then this thing was made when, I'm going to focus, zoom in here, in 2017, in June, okay, so it's not that old. And then standard construction for a zero screw up front and then a tab in the back. Well, it's a cool car. It's a cool cartoon. I just kind of feel like they left a lot of uh, extra paint apps on the table, you know? Like, this is supposed to be black and clear. Uh, you know, there's a lot of molded details, but they kind of skipped out on adding the color. But I find that uh, Cherokee Zeros have different prices. I actually went and bought the catalog. I can't show it on YouTube because of copyright issues. But the catalog shows different prices for the different liveries of the same casting. So this must be probably one of the basic ones that costs less than the race one that has a whole bunch more printing on it. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, well anyways, let's take a look at a couple other uh, toys here to compare to or models. I don't have a 164 scale version of this car. But I do have a 187 that's actually better than almost all 164s. And it's this uh, Spark model here. This is HO scale, 187. Look at the tiny antenna, the colorful interior. This is just a miraculous how well, well made it is for something this small. Look at my fingers compared to this. All right. So there's that comparison. Uh, but for 164, the closest thing I have would be this Peugeot 205, yeah, a Peugeot 205 from 1985. That also is a 
mid-rear engine vehicle where they swap the engine from the front to the back to go rally racing. And that Peugeot is made by a brand called CMs if you want to track it down on eBay. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's get these out and put some Choro keys up here. So I do have this Choro Q Lancia Stratos, which is a purpose-built rally car. But for hot hatches, I have a Toyota Starlet with some 3D printed wheels. Uh, and then the last one is a Super Impreza made by the Wanda Coffee Company. It's a freebie. And I did 3D print my own wheels for that one. So there we go. Alright, let's let these guys go. And this being a black and white car, we're going to have to whip out a stormtrooper for this guy. This little guy is 3D printed. Alright, so maybe not the best color variation of this Choro Q, but it also wasn't the most expensive. Okay guys, uh, just a little update. I had to add some black paint to the little vent areas because it was just too stark white. I mean, if you look at the image behind, there's clearly a lot of black going on. So, I just used uh, some acrylic water-based, uh, you know, paint. I also put in the wheels, and after it dried, I used some wet Q-tips to, you know, get the silver back. So I just basically painted the whole wheel black, and then I uh, brought back the silver using Q-tips. Okay, well, I definitely think this car looks a lot better now. Um, yeah, alright, thanks for watching.